So for anybody that isn't already familiar, can you explain what AMA Linux OS is? Yeah, basically, I mean, AMA Linux is the epitome of awesomeness. Um, we're a community built and community owned OS uh, in the in the EL or enterprise Linux uh, ecosystem. And each major version comes with 10 years of support and it's completely free. So it's able to power all of your dreams. So when and why was Amalinux OS created? So great question, Benny. Uh, Amalinux OS was created uh, after the end of life of the traditional CentOS Linux downstream uh, mm -hmm. distribution. So CentOS, uh, as people used to know it, uh, let's say, uh, without getting into all the drama, uh, we basically built on the Linux OS to be compatible with uh, RHEL, with Red Hat Enterprise Linux, uh, the same as before. And our goal is really to provide a stable, secure, and free OS uh, while solving a lot of the challenges that many of us encountered as CentOS users. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, the, one of the big questions is always, where can I use on Linux? So what architectures do we support? Uh, you can use it every, almost everywhere. Um, yeah. We have support for all the major architectures that you're expecting. So obviously x86-64, uh, uh, ARM64. Uh, we also have uh, PPC64 LE. We have S390X. Um, if you want something else that we don't have, come tell us. But we do Raspberry Pi. Uh, we're working on uh, Risk Five, So it's really trying to be ubiquitous yeah pretty much everywhere like you said you can use it anywhere where do we see um, Linux being adopted uh it's being adopted everywhere which is awesome to see um it it's being adopted in everything from raspberry pis you know running things like home assistant all the way to things like you know the world's largest supercomputers um, people run it on their home servers. People have sent mm -hmm. us pics of it being used in the Paris Metro and on the BART in San Francisco. So we're, we're moving, we're moving people along. Um, mm -hmm. we're, you know, uh, like I said, we're in the top 500 HPC clusters on oil rigs, desktop, VFX, computer animation, uh, some of the movies that you see uh yeah you know, on the silver screen are are being put together by Alma Linux running like massive render clusters in the background and the artists are using it on their workstations so yeah. um you know it really boils down to who we're we're being used literally i think now it's on seven continents someone came up to us at a show and said like hey we have something at the at the south pole yes, um, we do. and we and and we're running Alma Linux uh, for the experiments and we're like all right we need to send you like a flag or something to hold up down there but yeah i mean it's it's being used pretty much everywhere for every type of need and every type of use case that you can imagine which is great because that's why we created it yeah what who do you who's who's we in this situation who is behind ML Linux? right so uh the we is a lot of people uh many people from all over the world uh one of the things that you know uh one of the, the, the reasons that we created Alma Linux was because of some of the issues that we had with CentOS was there was there was really a lot of ambiguity around the organizational structure, right? Mm -hmm. And so what we did uh, to correct that is we set up everything as a nonprofit organization. So the nonprofit owns everything. The nonprofit manages everything. Um, membership has been open since 2021. Uh, we have over 400 members, uh, that's individual members, that's the sponsors, that's people that are running the mirrors. Um, mm -hmm. And it's really open to anyone that wants to join to contribute and, and really help, uh, you know, help the mission. Um, we also have an elected board, which uh, myself and yourself uh, both sit on, which is yep. great. Um, and, and the board members are voted on by members of the foundation. So everyone needs to, you know, make their case. Um, we're actually gearing up to run elections now too, so uh, that's that's a great thing that we do. Is the actual members have a vote in who represents them um, on the board? Uh, we also have our Alesco, which is our Amalenix uh, Engineering Steering Committee and special interest groups, and they really help drive a lot of the technical work that gets done in the technical direction of the project. Um, 
And so, you know, it's it, the project is managed by many volunteers who are members, mm -hmm. but you don't need to be a member to help. You just need to kind of show up and pick up a shovel and, and start digging. So it's true. we really, it's we true. really, we really try to create a, a, a space for, uh, to be as inclusive and, and, and as uh, welcoming as possible for anyone from many different types of backgrounds, right? So we have like total newbies that show up that are totally unfamiliar with Linux to like the most seasoned hackers that are helping on the project, which is great to see because that's one of the things that we wanted to create uh, is, is not just an, an, an OS, but a very welcoming and thriving community. And I think we're doing a great job at that. I think so too. When you, you mentioned elections and this will be our third round of elections actually, because we've done two already and it's really exciting. If I am new to Alma Linux and I want to get started, how do I get Alma Linux? How do you get Alma Linux OS? So yeah. uh, you go to the website and you there's a download link there and you can it has links to all the various types of images and all the formats that you need. Um, yeah. If you're looking to to have someone else host uh, because you need a web host or something, uh, you know, if you find one, let me know. But we can you can certainly join the chat and there are a lot of people in there that are willing to help uh, other people. Certainly, if you're looking for like a hosted environment, um, yeah. you can use it on the cloud. So you could use it on Microsoft Azure. You could use mm -hmm. it on AWS. You could use it on Google Cloud. Uh, you can use it uh, DigitalOcean, like any, almost anywhere you can think of. I mean, we're there. Um, and uh, you can use it for anything you want, for your development environment, your desktop, your IoT yeah. devices. You know, if you have a, happen to have a particle accelerator that you want to run <laughs> it on, you can run it on that too. So. Yeah. No, I was just going to say, hit up the website and hit up the, the community and you can pretty much find anything that you want to run in any format that you need for whatever you want to run it on. Yeah, this all sounds so great, uh, but my favorite part of our community is how they engage. So, Jack, how, how do I get involved? Yeah, I touched on this before. And like I said, you know, just show up and start offering to help pick up a shovel, uh, whether you have yeah. something that you want to contribute uh, and want to help on or whether you're just coming to learn. Uh, learning is also a very important part of life. So if it's something that you want to do through Alma Linux, we definitely encourage that. Um, and we have people doing everything from writing translations for the website, helping with social media, um, helping onboard new members, uh, adding repos, working on Elevate, which is a great project, or just, you know, generally to be there in support of other users, um, which is also a very important thing. So like I said, no matter what you want to do, we've got a place for you. So I would say just join uh, chat.almalinux.org and introduce yourself and, you know, you're, you'll be, your journey will, will be on its way. <laughs> that sounds great. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Benny.